For those of you who don't know, MAMP is an excellent utility for Mac OS and Windows that allows you to do local web development on your computer. Now, sometimes it's fine to do development at localhost, but sometimes you want to use a custom domain, such as HTTP, your site here, .dv. You can't easily do this with the free version of MAMP. It is an option in the professional version, but if you want to save yourself some money, here's the quick guide on how to get it set up by editing our vhosts file. So first thing, fire up your terminal and do a sudo nano slash etc slash hosts. Enter your password. This is gonna open up your hosts file. Once your host file is opened up, enter in 127.0.0.1 tab, and then the URL you wanna use. So in this case, some site here, .dv. Enter on the next line, same thing, 127.0.0.1 tab, www.somesitehere.dev. Not every site is going to require the www configuration that we just did, but it's not a bad fallback to have. Next, open up your IDE of choice. I'm using Espresso here on the Mac. I'll put a link to it in the description and open up the vhosts configuration file inside the MAMP folder. Inside MAMP, the comp folder, the Apache folder, and the extra folder. The path is up here on the screen. I'll leave it up for a little bit so you can try and follow this through. Once you've got that file open, we're gonna create a new virtual host entry. Again, this is assuming you have default settings, you're using port 80. So that's why the 80 is referenced in at the top. Server admin, enter in a default email. Doesn't need to be a real one. Document root, this is the full path to where your website files will live on your machine. So for me, it's slash users, slash my user account, slash public, slash www, and then the location of our test site, some site here. Server name, again, this is gonna match exactly what you just put in your host file before. So some site here.dv, and then we will do the alias www.somesitehere.dv. Then again, these are also optional, but if you want to run or record error logging, if you're doing local development on your website, probably not a bad idea to turn this on. You just put that inside the same directory from your document root, and then you add the error log. Same thing here, I also have an access log. Doesn't hurt to have one of those as well and you just put in the same path and you add common at the end, close up your virtual host tag and then save this document. Now that we've got those changes made, there's just one step left to allow MAMP to actually look at that HTTP vhost file on startup. We're gonna go back inside the MAMP folder, back into conf, then into Apache, then we're gonna open httpd.conf. Inside that file, you're gonna scroll down until you locate the line where you should see a hashtag commenting out the include for Apache extra HTTP vhost, the file we just edited. Remove that hashtag or that pound sign and save that file. And finally, last step, open up your MAMP window, stop your server, wait for it to complete, and then restart your server. Then you should be able to go off and access your new website just by typing in HTTP www.somesitehere.dv. Don't turn my fountain to ruin